In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to solve problems that deal with interest that's compounded continuously, like this one. Kim invests $10,000 in a mutual fund that grows continuously, on average, by 9% per year. What will be the value of the account after 10 years? To answer this question, we need to use a specific formula. A is equal to P times E raised to the RT. So A is the future value of the account after some time. P is the principal. It's the amount that's invested in the account right now. R is the interest rate as a decimal, and T is the time in years. Now E is a specific number. If you type in E into your calculator, you get this number. It's 2.718.2818. So that's the approximate value of E. So let's write down what we know. The amount invested, or the p-value, is 10,000. The interest rate is 9%, but as a decimal, we need to divide that by 9. I mean, we need to divide 9 by 100. So the value for R that we're going to plug in is 0 0.09. And we want to determine the value of the account 10 years later. So T is 10. So it's going to be 10,000 times E, where E is this number, raised to the R, 0 0.09, times T, which is 10. So that's 10,000 E, 0 0.09 times 10, is 0.90. So you should get this. The value of the account will be $24,596.03. So that's how much the mutual fund will be worth after 10 years. Now let's move on to the next problem. How long will it take Kim's investment to double if her mutual fund continues to grow by 9% per year on average. So what would you do in this problem? Well, we need to rearrange the formula. We need to solve for T. But we want her investment to double. So we know that the principal, the amount invested, is still the same as in the last problem. That's 10000 and that's going to double in value to 20,000. We need to determine how long it's going to take to do that. So we'll plug in R uh, later in this equation. Let's solve for T. So first, we're going to divide both sides by 10,000. These two numbers will cancel. 20,000 divided by 10,000 is 2. So we get this. Now, in order to solve for t, we need to take the natural log of both sides of the equation. A property of logs allows us to take the exponent and move it to the front. So we get ln2 is equal to rt times the natural log of e. Now, the natural log of e is equal to 1. So we have ln2 is equal to rt. To get t by itself, we need to divide both sides by r. So for this, tip, for this type of situation, where the interest is compounding continuously, the time it takes to double the investment is going to be the natural log of 2 divided by the interest rate r as a decimal. Now let's go ahead and plug in the values. r is 9%, but as a decimal, we know it's 0.09. The natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.09, that's 7.7. .7. So if interest is compounding continuously, or if the mutual fund grows continuously at this rate, in 7.7 .7 years, her account value will double. Now there's another way in which you can estimate this answer, and it's by using the rule of 72. So according to the rule of 72, the account value will double in this time frame. It's equal to 72 divided by the interest rate. 
Now we won't plug in R as a decimal, but as a percentage. So we're not going to replace R as 0 0.09, but we're going to leave it as 9. 72 divided by 9 is 8 years. So in approximately 8 years, her investment will double. And you can see 7.7 .7 can be rounded to 8. So it's a good approximation. So that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to solve problems associated with interest compounding continuously.